All right, today we're going to be doing a video on how to make yogurt using a flask or a thermos, depending on what you call it, one of these insulated drink containers. So I'm going to go over the instructions and then we'll go ahead and get started. I'm starting it tonight and then we'll be finishing it tomorrow. So you start out with fresh milk. Don't use the boxed milk that has been ultra pasteurized. Fresh milk from the cow is what you want. And if you want your yogurt to be especially thick, then you can add some uh, dry powdered milk to it. So if you're going to be using that, then you put two tablespoons of the powdered milk for every liter of fresh milk that you have. So remember, a tablespoon is this size of a spoon. But if you don't care about how thick your yogurt is, you don't need to add that unless you want like, really thick yogurt. So you start out by heating the milk to 85 degrees and 85 degrees Celsius is almost boiling so it won't be a rolling boil but it will be starting to foam and it's best if you have a thermometer so I'm going to be doing this using a thermometer and you'll see the temperature that it is exactly but if you don't have one at least this step you can you can see that the milk has almost reached the point of boiling so the question then is is the milk safe if it hasn't been boiled, and yes, it is because it will be it will have been pasteurized before it reached this temperature, and so it's safe to use for the yogurt. Uh, after you have heated it to that temperature, turn off the heat, and you have to let the milk start to cool. You want to cool to about 45 degrees Celsius, and so this is still hot. It's hotter than our body temperature, but if you dip a clean finger into it, it won't burn you. So this is where it's better to have the thermometer so that you can see exactly what temperature it is and know when it's at 45 degrees. But if you don't, you can scoop a little bit out in a cup and see how the temperature is. And if it's not scalding and it doesn't burn your finger, leave that milk. You can drink it yourself and then use the rest for your yogurt. So once you have your milk at 45 degrees, then you take your thermos or flask and if it's just an okay one, just to make sure that it doesn't burst when you pour in the hot milk, you can rinse it with hot boiled water. But if you feel like your flask is very strong, you can just put the milk directly into it. So you pour most of the milk into the thermos, but you reserve a little bit and you add two tablespoons of fresh yogurt for every liter of milk that you are making into yogurt. So if you have three liters, I have three liters of milk that I'm going to be using today, then I do two tablespoons for each one of those liters. So two tablespoons for one, two tablespoons for the second, two tablespoons for the third, so I need six tablespoons of yogurt. So at this point, you must start with yogurt that you buy from a store. So uh, yogurt is made from good bacteria, not a kind that causes disease. And so you need to have those bacteria to start making the milk into yogurt. So the first time you make yogurt, you buy yogurt from the store and you use this one for making your milk into yogurt. The next time, you can use the yogurt that you made, the remainder just before you finish it off, to make the next batch of yogurt. And so it will have that good bacteria in it that can make the next batch of yogurt, but you have to start by buying yogurt. So mix two tablespoons of fresh yogurt for every liter of milk you're using with the remainder of the milk that you did not yet pour into your flask. So you mix the yogurt together with that and then you add it to the milk that's in the thermos. The reason you're adding it to the remainder of the milk is to make sure that you mix it in well. You don't want a chunk of yogurt just floating around in the flask of milk. You want it to be well mixed in. Then, most of the work is done, so you just close the flask and let it stand for between 8 and 24 hours. So this is a point where it depends on your preference for yogurt. The longer time, 24 hours, as we get towards 24 hours, it will make the milk thicker, or the yogurt thicker and also more sour. If you use less time, like the 8 hours, then it will be thinner, more like drinking yogurt, and it will be less sour. So it's up to you, your preference. I'm going to leave mine for longer, 
Uh, not the full 24 hours, but for longer because I like my yogurt to be thicker. Then, after that amount of time, whatever time you choose, you remove the yogurt from the flask and you can put it into a fridge. At that point, it's good to eat. You can eat it right away. If you like your yogurt to be plain, just eat it like that. If you want it to be flavored, then you can buy these flavors from the supermarket. The flavor that you choose is going to be the flavor of your yogurt. So this one is vanilla. If you want vanilla yogurt, you use this one. This one is passion fruit. If you want passion fruit flavored yogurt, you use this one. So in order to flavor your yogurt, you need to add some kind of sweetener and your flavor. If the yogurt has cooled, it's better to use honey because it will dissolve in the yogurt better. If the yogurt is still warm, you can use sugar and it will dissolve as you mix it in. So you add the amount of honey or sugar that you like, just add a little bit at a time until it's the sweetness that you want. And then for the flavor, you use about half a teaspoon of the flavor per liter. So if I have three liters, I would put one and a half teaspoons of flavor in if I want to flavor the whole thing. So again, remember this is a teaspoon, this small spoon. So that's the process. It's very simple. You don't need very many materials and we're going to go ahead and get started by heating our milk. Okay, so we're starting to heat our milk. We've turned on the fire and right now it is at about almost 45 degrees. Um, I got my milk directly from dairy, so it was already heated when I got it. So I need to wait until it's almost boiling. So we're going to turn the camera off and come back when we reach that point. So our milk is coming to just over 80 degrees. And it's starting to get like a little kind of a film on the top. Like the, the cream and starting to bubble just a little bit. So we're just about at the point where we want to turn off the heat. You can hear that it's starting to make some of those almost about to boil noises. So I'm going to turn off the heat and then it takes a fair amount of time to be able to cool down to 45 degrees. Um, <clears throat> you can get a cup and scoop some of the milk out and pour it back in or stir it with a spoon to make it cool more quickly. Otherwise you can just wait for a while, come back and stir it and so on until it gets cooled down to that temperature. So we're going to turn off the heat and then let it start cool. Okay, as you can see our milk has cooled to 45 degrees. So this is the point where we pour most of it into the flask and then we add our yogurt to a little bit of it and then mix it all together. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, I'm going to pour most of the milk into the flask. I'm going to do it over the sink so that I don't spill it all over the place. Okay, I'm leaving this milk behind here and I'm going to mix our yogurt into it. So remember, we do two tablespoons per liter and I've got three liters, so that means six tablespoons. So one, two, three, four, So it doesn't have to be as exact as with baking, it's okay to have them be a little bit overflowing. And you'll notice that this yogurt is vanilla flavored. It's not going to make the yogurt that we're making vanilla flavored. It doesn't really make a difference what flavor the one is that you use to start it. You're just getting the bacteria to start the yogurt and then you'll add the flavor later. So I've mixed the yogurt in so that there are no chunks. And now I can go ahead and add it into the flask with the rest of the milk. And we'll see if my flask truly is three liters or not. Oh, an overflow. And 
I'm going to pour out a little bit of milk here and remix it <clears throat> to make sure that I get all of the yogurt starter in there. And then the extra I can pour into another container to keep warm to also form into yogurt. Okay, so I've got just a little bit left. I can put it into a jar and wrap it up in the towel to keep it warm. And then the rest of this I'm going to close. And then tomorrow we'll open it up and see the yogurt. So let's close it up right now. I'm going to set it aside. And in the morning we come back and check it. Okay, we're back for part two of the yogurt making in a thermos. So it's been about 18 hours since I put the milk in here. So we're going to open it up and add some flavoring and see how it's turned out after those hours. Okay, so you can already see there's some yogurt congealed here to the top. It's going to be fun to wash. So, I'm going to try to divide it between three bowls so that we can do three different types. But, you can see it's quite thick. Try to divide it evenly so we have one liter in each bowl. Just on the floor. Just about it. Yeah. All right. So, depending on the quality of your milk, you might have a layer of water on the top of your yogurt in the flask. If you want to, you can pour that off. If you want to keep it, it's fine. You can just stir it in with your yogurt. So um, I've got each of these bowls and you can see obviously there's no longer milk. So I'm going to just do one as plain yogurt and, and leave it because I like to have plain yogurt. And then two of them I'm going to do flavors. So I have a uh, passion fruit flavor and vanilla flavor. One of them I'm going to put sugar, another one I'm going to put honey. So <clears throat> since it's still warm, we can use sugar. So we just add a little bit at a time until it's the flavor that we, or the sweetness that we like. So you stir it. Sugar is well dissolved. And then remember we put about half a teaspoon of flavor per liter. So this is about one liter, this is about one liter. So you have to estimate a little bit um, because doing half of a teaspoon is a little bit tricky, but I'm going to fill this, um, this one is going to be vanilla with the sugar. So about half of this. We'll mix it in. Along with the sugar. And then, to taste it, if you're going to be sharing this with other people, obviously you don't want to just be eating out of the bowl, but you can put a little bit in a separate container, and then go ahead and taste it. So to me, that's sweet enough. It tastes like yogurt from the store. So I'm going to say that one is done. Vanilla yogurt, the plain yogurt is also done. Now we're going to do one <clears throat> with honey and with passion fruit flavor. So we'll put in our honey. 
and we'll dissolve well in the liquid yogurt. And then we'll put in our passion fruit flavor here. Again, it's a liter, so half a teaspoon of flavor. Then you want to keep it in a cool place if you have a fridge then that's perfect um, otherwise you can sell it or give it out to people right away to eat um, you don't want to keep it at room temperature for a long time or it will spoil but if you're going to be eating it right away then you're ready right now so this is the thickness that it is normally without adding the powdered milk at the beginning but if you wanted it to be thicker than this then you can add that when you start so that's all that you need to do to make homemade yogurt. <laughs> 